Three's Company, The Ropers, and of course quite a few other television series have come under fire, uh, gotten a lot of publicity from organizations such as the Moral Majority because of violence in some series and the implication of sex in others. Uh, what are your feelings on this? Well, first of all, uh, <clears throat> on Three's Company and The Ropers, there was no sex for The Ropers. Right. You know I, mean? <laughs> I don't know what, any, what anybody could object to. <coughs> Nothing was happening at all as far as I was concerned. Uh, no, just basically what I want to say is that, that the that Three's Company and The Ropers were totally innocent shows. Nothing happened. You know? Now, dirty shows to me are shows in which somebody gets killed, somebody gets shot in the head, somebody gets stabbed, an old lady gets knocked down and her purse gets taken away. I mean, that's dirty. But for young people to think about possibly kissing somebody or hugging somebody or whatever, you know, happens next, uh, to me is not particularly dirty. So when I hear about Three's Company being a dirty show, even a provocative show, I don't think it's either one of those. I, don't, I think it's just innocent fun, and that's all we intended to do with that show, was to make people laugh. With TV actors' salaries getting higher and higher, such as Larry Hagman of Dallas, are we in any, any danger of losing our bigger stars from television or pricing the shows right off the air? Well, I wonder if the salaries in television are going up uh, more than, than costs in other areas. To, I mean, look at the, the salaries that baseball players are getting, uh, much more than actors, really. I mean, uh, the basketball players, Magic Johnson, will get something like $25 million. Uh, over a lifetime of playing basketball or being a, an advisor or something to the Lakers. I don't know, he has a lifetime contract. I don't know if any actors have deals like that. Larry Hagman and, and Carol O'Connor, I guess, are the two highest. Uh, I don't know, as far as movie theaters are concerned, I mean, the big salaries that, that actors get for doing a, a starring role in a movie, in most cases they deserve because if somebody's name is above the title, that automatically brings in a certain amount of money in the box office. Now, if, let's say, Robert Redford uh, can bring in 25 or $30 million uh, worldwide, guaranteed, well, I would think he'd be worth $2 million of the 25 or $30 million. Right. Now, the whole thing sounds obscene <coughs> when you start talking about millions and millions of dollars. Um, something like 90 or 95 percent of the, of the members of Screen Actors Guild make under ten thousand dollars a year five percent you know make above ten thousand of, of the five percent who make above ten thousand maybe two percent make above fifty thousand a year so we're talking about a relatively uh, handful of people so it's not a very corrupting uh, influence i don't think and most times a lot of people will put in 20 years before they get to that point where maybe for two or three years or four years they can really make some money so it's really not so bad. His first stop was Würzburg, where he flew to remote sites to visit with the troops. From there, he will go on to Heidelberg on Friday to attend a music and theater director's workshop. Stuttgart is the next stop on his list, where he will attend the Usurer raft race. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, he and his wife will continue on to Karlsruhe, Vogelway, Zweibrücken, and Kaiserslautern to end his tour. From the Frankfurt Flughafen, Specialist Dennis Neal, AFN.